my lunch break right now. I ain't got for like 30 minutes, so. Okay, that's fine. Hey, we'll get right to yeah. it. Um, this gospel uh, that was preached by Paul in Acts uh, 13, um, I want to mm -hmm. share it with you. Um, okay. He says, um, we'll start up a little bit earlier. It says, um, of this man's seed, I mean, it says uh, 22. And when he mm -hmm. had remo removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart which shall fulfill all my will of this man's seed, have God according to his promise raised unto Israel, Savior, Jesus. So Jesus is our, is our Savior. Um, when John had first preached before his coming the baptism of repentance. So John the Baptist preached the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel only. And as John fulfilled his course, so that is fulfilled. We're not preaching that anymore. He said, whom think ye that I am? I am not he, but behold, there cometh one after me whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to loose. Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you fear God, to you is the word of this salvation sent. And then it says, for they that dwell at Jerusalem, speaking of the Jews and their rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets, which are read every Sabbath day, they have fulfilled him fulfilled them in condemning him. So the Jews condemned him. He came unto his own, his own received him not. And though they found no cause of death in him, Jesus was sinless, yet desired they pilot that he should be slain. They wanted to kill Jesus. They wanted to destroy Jesus. But Jesus said, destroy this temple and in three days I will rise it up again. And he did because Jesus is the everlasting father. And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a sepulcher. But God raised him from the dead. And he was seen many days of them, which came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are his witnesses unto the people. So he was he, he died on the cross for our sins. He was buried for three days. He raised himself from the dead, and he was seen risen by his witnesses. And then it tells us, wherefore he saith also another psalm, thou shalt not suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Jesus is the holy one. Jesus is the everlasting father. Um, it says, be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man, Jesus, is preached unto Hello. you forgiveness of sins. And by him, all that believe are justified from all things from which he could not be justified by the law of Moses. Following the law won't justify you. you got to believe on Jesus. He justifies you from all things. Amen. Pat, do you believe that gospel? Well, he heard the gospel. Colton, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Do you hear me? Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, did he leave? Yeah. We'll see if he comes back yet again. Oh, here we go. Okay. Pat, did you uh do you believe that gospel I just uh pre preached to you? Actually, I got, I got, put, I got off the, the the net. I just logged back in. Okay, I'll preach it again. So it's, it's very clear in Acts uh, thirteen twenty two. It says uh, twenty three of this man's seed have God according to His promise raised unto Israel Savior Jesus. Jesus is the Savior. He's the Savior of Israel. He's the Savior of the world. When John, John the Baptist, had first preached before his coming the baptism of repentance. So John preached the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel only, no one else. And as John fulfilled his course, so that is fulfilled. That's why we're not preaching that today. He said, whom think ye that I am? I am not he. But behold, there come one after me whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to loose. Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you fear of God to you is the word of this salvation sent. This is the word of salvation for you. For they that dwell at Jerusalem, speaking of the Jews, and their rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets, which are read every Sabbath day, they have fulfilled them in condemning him. So the Jews condemned him to the cross. And though they found no cause of death in him, yet desired they Pilate that he should be slain. Jesus was sinless, an innocent man. But they still wanted to kill him. They wanted to destroy him. But Jesus said, destroy this temple in three days. I will build it up. And he did. Jesus raised himself from the grave. And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and, and laid him in a sepulcher. So he died on the cross for our sins. He was buried. 
and but God raised him from the dead and he was seen many days of them which came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem who are his witnesses unto the people so these are his witnesses so he was seen by his witnesses this is his testimony that must be spoken and believed wherefore he saith also in another psalm thou shalt not suffer thine holy one to see corruption Jesus is the holy one he is God the Lord God Almighty but be it known unto you therefore men and brethren that through this man Jesus is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins and by him all that believe not repent not turn away from sin not accept not have faith all that believe are justified from all things for which he could not be justified by the law of moses following the law won't justify you you must believe on jesus because he's the justifier for those that believe on him do you believe that gospel message no, I believe the scriptures, but I don't, I don't believe what you're preaching. Yeah, well, the scriptures it says that and by him, all that believe are justified from all things. Do you believe that? No, 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 no. I believe what the scripture says, but you've taken it out of context. That's why I let you continue to talk. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. And by him, all that believe are justified from all things. Do you believe that? No, no, no. I believe no. what the scripture says, but I don't believe what the way you're trying to, the way you call this so-called preaching it. Yeah. I don't believe that. And, and let me clarify. Let yeah. me ask you a question. Yeah. No, I was asking Go, you a question yeah. specifically. This is the scripture. This is what it says. And right. by so, him, so I, all that believe are justified from all things. Do you believe that scripture? No, I believe the scriptures. Yeah, that's scripture. But right from there. Where, from, that's script right there. Right. By him, all that believe are justified from all things. No, no, no. Every, believe that? Everything you read was scripture. I everything you read was yeah. scripture. Yeah. I, I got it. So I'm asking, yeah. you believe that that scripture right there, and by him all that believe are justified from all things. Do you believe that? Not the way you're trying. Not the way you're trying to bring it across. I'm not trying to bring it across anyway. I'm just saying, do you yeah. believe what it says? Do you believe it, it says that by him all that believe <laughs> nah. are justified from all things? Do you I, believe that? No, I have a question. If no, do you believe that? Conduct, Ask my question if first. If we're going to conduct the dialogue, if we're going to conduct the dialogue, yo, don't do the dialogue as if you answer my question. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? By him, all the, all that believe are justified from all things. What are they believing? All right, I'm just asking. Do you believe that I, by him, all that believe are justified from all things? Yes, I believe the scriptures, but I don't believe the way you're trying to bring it. Not, it's not the way I'm trying to bring it. I'm asking. Yes, it is. Yes, said. it is. Yes, it is. I'm, Brother, at, I'm quoting this my friend, what it says. My friend. Hey, listen, my friend. It says, and you're, by not, him, you're not talking to some kid. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> Regardless, it says, and by him all that believe are justified from all things. Pat, either you believe it or you don't. Do you believe it? If you mute my mic again, we won't be talking at all. All right, bye. <laughs> in charge. So after first yeah. admonition, reject. All right, Stephen. Complicated, man. Welcome. Yeah, that's the devil in him. Don't worry about it. Stephen, welcome, sir. How's it going? Bless, man. Bless. <laughs> I'm here trying to get this preaching going. Yeah. You so, know. Stephen? I haven't joined the last couple. I had midterms, but I got to join more. So you still, uh, you still in school then? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to classes or are you doing it from home? No, nah, they switched everything online. Oh, okay. That's good. I actually like online because I, I just teach myself because some of these teachers, you know, it's, it, I got some teachers that it's hard to listen to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. No, well, it works better. See, now you're seeing what homeschooling is all about. <laughs> yeah. I think that's going to expose people. Uh, like, hey, we could do this online. We don't have to go. Yes. Exactly. It's gonna hurt those businesses. We don't have to you don't have to go to those schools, man. You can learn online, man. You can learn reading. You can learn from your parents. That's what you're supposed to do. Or learn from other professionals that that you know are good trainers, you know, coaches, tutors, stuff like that. You learn from the Lord. <laughs> what is it? First John two twenty seven. But the anointing which you have received of him abide, abide in you, and ye, ye need not any man teach you, but the same anointing teaches you of all things. And it's truth, and there's no lie. And even as he that taught you, ye shall abide in him. So you need not any man teach you. Amen. That's uh, second, first, John, first John 2, 
20 something, 27. 27. 27, yeah. Yeah. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. There's going to be people seducing you. So don't listen to them. But the anointing which ye have received of him abide in you. And ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teach of you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie. And even as it have taught you, ye shall abide in him. And so the scripture taught me this. I was just looking at this earlier today in Daniel 4. Uh, was it 5? Or six. Let me see. Oh, there's a, let me see. All right, what was that? Yes, now you have six. Okay. All right. So right here it says, "It please Darius to set over the kingdom a hundred and twenty princes." So over his kingdom was 120 princes. All right. All right. Um, which should be over the whole kingdom. So over all of his kingdom, there's 120 princes divided. So he divided it up to by them. And over these three presidents, see that? The so presidents is scripture is in scripture. So the presidents were over. The princes, see that? Of whom Daniel was first. So Daniel was the second in command next to Darius, the king. So Daniel was first in, in order. He's a man of God. He was a believer. And God rose him to the top. And that's what we as believers do. That the princes might give accounts unto them, and the king should have no damage. Well, we have a president. Not too many countries have presidents. So if we have a president, that means we have a king over us. Who's the king of America? According to scripture, over according to scripture, a president is second in command under the king, not the not the not the princess. So that means we have a king over our country, and that's what people don't know. I'm learning this through scripture. So it's here saying the king should have no damage. So the king is the president? Um so Darius is 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 the king. Okay, Daniel is the president. So yeah, so let me take it slow again. All right, is is pleased to set it, it, it pleased Darius, the king, to set over the kingdom. And hundred and twenty princes. So these are like vice presidents, whatever. These are second, third, third, uh, second in command or third in command. The, the, there's a hundred and twenty of them. And then it says, and over these three presidents, there's three presidents over the hundred and twenty. Daniel was the first of the three. So under Darius are three presidents. So could the king be a president, or is the king, or is the president under the king according to scripture? Well, the president's under the king. Yeah. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents of the princes because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. So Daniel was over the whole realm. He was over even the president. So he was like chief president or chief operating you know officer so or chief executive officer but he was the he was the chief president then those other were two were vice presidents basically um and then you had then you had the 120 uh uh priests princes so we you know, we're organized as president you know we're organized like a like a like a corporation you have presidents you have secretaries you have you know administration you know, so we're you know we're actually technically. I mean, every city is a is a is a, a company. It's a, you know they're it's a business. Yeah, yeah. So our our country's really a business. Hey, it's Colton. I thought that was Bjorn. No, it's yeah, Colton, man. What's up? What's good, bro? Not too much. Long time. How you been, bro? Good. Bro. I know. Good. I know. It's been a while. Yeah, bro. How's how's work? Oh, it's good. I'm still working. Um, yeah. 
they gave me a little slip for me to, uh, I guess, like, get pulled over or whatever. I got to show the, the cops, I guess. But it's not even <laughs> in my county yet, the curfew and all that. And down here in Pennsylvania, it's it's in uh, more in Allegheny than Westmoreland County. So Yeah, we don't, we don't have any of that in Miami. No, you know, not. There's no, a lot of cases, yet? though. Yeah, no. Yeah, anyway, crazy, I, don't, I, don't, I don't listen to the news or any of that, so I have no idea. I don't watch TV, so I have no idea what. <laughs> hey. I really, I really don't even. I really don't yeah. even. Yeah, you know, you know, I, I went to school on Wednesday, um, a month ago or something, and I, I had no idea that was my last day of school. They canceled school. I had no idea like this was such a big deal. Like I went to school, I didn't even think about it. Yeah. And apparently it was such a big deal. Yeah, there. Well, I removed, I removed Patrick Logan. You put a comment in there and told him to join. Oh, I removed, okay. Yeah, because he's you know he wasn't trying to talk. He wasn't. Is he a believer? No, no, dude, no, no. He was lost. Yeah, he was lost. He wouldn't answer questions, and you know, you know, wouldn't respond to scripture. And just wanted to be argumentative. I, I don't that's, have time. I'm patient for that's those. It. That's who we were talking to, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just, I just booted him. Yeah, yeah. He just wanted to, he, he was just a complicated one. Yeah. He just wanted to argue. It's like, okay, well, what are you here for? Why are you coming in this thing? You know, I don't mind having difference of opinion, but, uh, you know, you're going to answer my question. If you're not going to answer my question, you got to go. <laughs> Cause I, I don't have a problem answering people's questions. So it's going to be equal respect here. You know, you're not gonna just talk to me any kind of way. It's not right. gonna happen. Nope. Especially, especially when it's a simple, it's a you know, a simple yes or no question. Yeah. Period. I mean, if you can't respect, if you can't respect my question, then uh, you gotta go. Period. That's simple. But yeah, basically, what I was just showing there is that um, it's it's showing us that uh, presidents have king uh, a king over them. So we have a king over our, our country. We just don't know who it is. I know who it is. Satan. Here you go. He wants to be like the most high. I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. And thou holdest fast my name and hast not denied my faith, even in those days where Antipas was my faithful martyr. Who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth? But I, you know, so so Satan has a seat. Yeah, yeah, he, he, you know, he dwells in a certain place, and uh, they, you know, these secret meetings that they're having, they're getting their their directive from their king. You think it's like the all these uh, global organizations, you know, the UN, the G20. Oh yeah, the they're all under Satan. Yeah. That's why even the queen has authority, not the king. If you see in in in, in, the, in the UK, the queen has authority, not the king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because their king is Satan. He's he's the god of this world, ain't he? He what? He's the god of this world, isn't he? Small G. Yeah, small G god. Yep. Yeah. Prince of the power of the air. Yeah. Prince of this world, too. Hold on one second. Somebody just came in. What's up, brother? Somebody's uh, Brundo. Can you guys hear me? Is that him, Yeah, I can hear you. How's it going, everyone? What's up? Good, man. Good. Hey, yo, it's Steven. I live in Miami, bro. Don't you live uh, a little up north? What? If it's Humberto, I don't know. If it's, is it Humberto? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's Humberto. Yeah, bro, I live in Miami, dude. And I think you live a, a little up north, right? Yeah, I live over in, in uh, Lake Worth. You say you're in Kendall, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I live by uh, yeah, kind of like in, in between Miami Dade College and FIU. Oh, okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm up. Um, I live over by the West Palm Beach Airport, not too far from there. Yeah. Well, real yeah, quick, I mean, <clears throat> real quick, I wanted to uh, <clears throat> share my testimony. I believe that Jesus Christ is manifested, is God manifested in the flesh. Jesus is God Almighty. He's the everlasting Father. Jesus came unto his own. His own received him not. I believe that the Jews killed him, put him on the cross. Jesus died on the cross for the whole world's sins, for believers and unbelievers, for the whosoever. Uh, he was then buried, rose again on the third day, and he was seen by many witnesses, over 500. And I believe that the name J-E-S-U-S, -S, Jesus, is the only name that saves. And because I believe that with all my heart, that's why I'm going to heaven. Amen. Nothing I can do to get I can't work for it. I can't work for a free gift. Can you work for it, Stephen? No, sir. What about you, Herbronto? Nope. He paid he paid it all on the cross. Act 16, 30, and 31, and bought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved and die out. Oh, uh, I thought it, I thought you said repent, bro. Nope. Ain't got nothing to do with your mind, gotta do with your heart. Amen. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Amen. If you go on Matthew 7, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy, in, thy, in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name have done many wonderful works. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. This is talking about how on Judgment Day, a lot of people are going to be boasting on their works. You know. Then I cast out devils in your name, many wonderful works in your name. Then I get water baptized in your name. And he said, Depart from me, I never knew you. So it's not that he used to know you. People, uh, they say this to lose salvation. It's not that he used to know you and you lost your salvation. I never knew you. These people were never saved. Because they believed on their works. And only yeah. he that does the will of the Father gets into heaven. If we go to John 6. Hey, and before before you take them, take them to the will of the Father, I also want to uh, preach this, this verse. Uh, John 9, 31. Now we know that God here is not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. So Steve, you can, you can let them know what the will of the Father is. Uh, John six thirty eight through 40. For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the will which he has sent me, that all of which he hath given me, I should lose nothing but that, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up the last, raise him up on the last day. So believing, believing in Jesus, believing on him, you have everlasting life, and that's the will of the Father. The, the sea and the sun, that, that was just people in that time period, but believe on Jesus. That, that's that's the will of the Father. Amen. And in Romans 4, uh, this is talking about Judgment Day. A lot of people are going to be professing their works. Remember, you said, I never knew you. And he goes to Romans 4, Now to him that worketh is the reward, not reckoned of grace, but of death. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justified the ungodly. His faith is coming for righteousness. So if you try to work, you're not you're not going to receive uh, God's grace. You're going to be in debt. So you have to, if you believe on Him, His faith is coming for righteousness. So it's His faith, the faith that come, uh, that justified the ungodly is Jesus' faith. So it's not our faith. We just got to believe, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and that's how we get into heaven. Okay. First John, uh, first John five ten says, "He that believeth on the Son of God have the witness in himself. He that believeth not God have made him a liar, because he believed not the record 
that God gave us his son. And this is the record that God has given to us eternal life, and this life is in his son. He that hath the son hath life, and he hath that have not the son of God have have not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. And what name is the Son of God? Jesus, J E S U S, as it says up up in um, Philippians two, two eight, two eight, nine, ten, and eleven. It says. And bringing forth in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even even the death of, of the cross. So he died on the cross. A lot of people say, oh, he died on a stake or on a tree. No, the death of the cross. That's very important right there. Therefore, God also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, J-E-S-U-S, Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven, but that's above us, and things in the earth, that's where we're at now, and things under the earth. So that's that's hell, correct? And that, yes, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So we give him all the glory. Amen. The precept but that is isaiah 45 line 23 it says I, I this is in the old testament this is god the father talking i have sworn by myself the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return that unto me every knee shall bow and every tongue shall swear and in romans 14 line 11 for it is written as i live saith the lord every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to god so what happened? Everybody left? Oh no. oh no. It just froze for a second. Oh, it's because Bjorn came in. Bjorn bring all that energy in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if I Jesus over, wept. Rejoice evermore. In 2 Timothy 1 7, for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. And if we go to 1 John, let me check this out real quick. 1 John 4, let me go 17 through 18. Herein is love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. So here we see that the coronavirus uh, started by Satan. Um, it's just the fear, and then you got the news media uh, that's uh, bought out by Satan, and the government's bought out by Satan. It's all fear. It's all the spirit of fear, but God didn't give us the spirit of fear. So um, this is all by Satan, the Antichrist. So um, just believe on Jesus. That's how we get into heaven. We don't, we don't need to believe all the, the lies that Satan is giving right now let brotherly love continue Psalm 23 4 yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for thou art with me the rod and the staff they comfort me we walk through this valley and we should feel no e no evil Romans Romans 8 line 28 and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are the called according to his purpose and then first John 4 4 year of God little children and had overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world Who's in Matthew 10 line 28 and fear not them which can, which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And who is that that's in us? Jesus, baby. Amen. God Almighty. Oh, 
John 1 11, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. John 3 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, and he that believeth not is condemned already, because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Jesus came unto his own, his own people. His own people killed him. The Jews killed him. They desired Pilate for him to be slain. Jesus died on the cross for the whole world's sins, was buried, rose again on the third day, and was seen by over 500 brethren, according to scripture. And that is the gospel that you need to believe on today for for your for salvation. There's nothing you can do to earn salvation. It's a free gift. In Ephesians 1.13, And whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that, with that Holy Spirit of promise. There's a promise from God. God's not allowed nor the author of confusion. Once you heard that gospel and you truly believed it in your heart, you were sealed, and God can't break his seal. And her brother, uh, quoted some scripture earlier in Acts 16, 30 and 31, and brought them out and said, Sir, what must that do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. That's it. Believe. That's it. Easy. Simple. In John 6, 26, Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me, not because ye see the miracles, but because ye do ye of the laws and were filled. Labor not for the me which perisheth, but for the me which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him hath God the Father sealed. So here uh, we see, um, don't labor for... Uh, the meat that perishes, but the meat which is an endure to everlasting life. So a lot of people are working in this world. That won't get us everlasting life. It's in John 6, 28, they said unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? Then John 6, 29 says, Jesus answered and said unto him, This is the work of God. May ye believe on him who he has sent. So uh, um, believing is not, believing on Jesus is, we're not working. It's actually God's work. It's a, uh, it's a. Uh, so it's his work because we're not saved by our work. Because Ephesians two eight through nine, for by grace, are you saved through faith, and not of yourselves? It is the gift of God, not of works, as any man should boast. So we're not saved by our works, but we can get into heaven by doing the work of God by believing on Jesus. Amen. Matthew Matthew eleven, line twenty five through thirty. At the time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Lord, or o, o, o Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast, hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me and my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father, ne neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he to whose, whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy, my burden is light. So you just believe. Don't don't try to work. Don't try to Yeah, just don't try to work for salvation or or that's a free Earn it. You can't. His burden is light. Believe. Believe on Jesus today. And you believe the gospel. And today can be yourself the day of your salvation. Repent, or you shall all likewise perish. Repent yeah. And ye all likewise perish. Good thing we're not Israel, huh?
Yeah. Yeah, that's talking to uh that's not perish, that's not like I'm not going to heaven, that's just dying in the flesh. Not Wages of sin is death. It's the point of man wants to die, right? Yeah. And then the second the second death, the lake of fire. Are for unbelievers. So, um, what is that? That's an Acts. Was it Acts two thirty eight? What's that? That that was in Acts two thirty eight. It what? says, "Then P Peter said unto them." So before then. So yeah, we can read in context Acts two thirty six. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know it certainly. That God had made the, that same Jesus whom ye have crucified, both Lord and, uh, and Christ. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their hearts and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? So this is, this is the house of Israel asking uh, Peter, what shall we do? And then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I'm talking to, he was talking to the Jews. Told him, told him to change your mind. We saw you for a minute. <laughs> who, who popped in? Stephen popped in. His camera's on. <laughs> we saw. Uh, then he got out the <laughs> But yeah, Acts two thirty eight. I was talking to Israel, not at that time, telling them repent, change your mind, and believe on Jesus for the remissions of sins. See, the sin is still there. It's just the temporal. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, I guess you could call it a temporary cure. Just like someone that's in cancer or that has cancer and is in remissions. The cancer is still there. You're just in remissions. So the sin's not, the sin's not uh, gone. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah, salvation is not always everlasting life in Scripture. Well, faith without works is dead. Yeah, that's true. You can't have you can't have uh, faith without working. Can't have uh, works without faith. But that's not talking about salvation. Because uh, what is it? What does it say? And um. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 and 10. For by grace are ye saved through faith. So it's not even your faith. You're saved through faith, through Jesus. And that not of yourselves. It tells you it's not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. A gift can't be earned. It's, a, it's freely given out of the abundance of the heart. Not of works, lest any man should boast. So no man can boast about the works. For we are his workmanship created in Jesus Christ or in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. So it's not even our faith. It's Jesus' faith. We're saved through Jesus. It says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself. So it's not of you. Period. It is the gift of God. And a gift can't be earned. Rewards can be earned, but a gift can't be earned. It's freely given. So isn't faith and belief just the same thing? Jesus said to Thomas, don't be faithless. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I got I to gotta pull that up. What is that? That's in John what? Um, uh, when do we it? Uh, Bjorn said, um, faith and believe is it the same thing because uh, whenever Thomas didn't believe that Jesus, Jesus was resurrected and how Jesus said here, 
take take my uh, hand and or pierce my rib and he says be not faithless but believing and thomas says uh my lord and my god but i i want to i don't want to misquote that john, john what is it john 2024 20, yeah john Yeah, John, John twenty seven through uh twenty nine. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither my finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. But so we can show you what uh what faith is. Just just to uh, get the dip, uh, difference, it says in Hebrews uh Hebrews what is that Hebrews eleven? That's Hebrews eleven oh, six, wow. right? Or no, What's no, that? No. The definition is of Hebrews 11. 1. What? Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Right? Yeah, that's, he, that's yeah, yeah, he, one. yeah, okay. 11, 1. Yeah, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So Thomas believed Jesus because he's seen. So faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So that's a big that's a big difference. Well, faith is impossible to please God. Yeah, I knew you was gonna do that. <laughs> we shall always we all we shall always please God. I mean, as a Christian, but um, who wants to take over, Stephen? Alberto, you get you get practice for when you get your computer. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> get ready, fire's coming. Was, was somebody was that Alberto talking? Man, you got talking to the mic. We can't hear you, Alberto. Oh, you can't hear me. Yeah, y'all Floridians, boy, y'all be whispering over there. <laughs> that's, that, that's that metro PCS. <laughs> up in the water over there, man. Y'all drinking too much Florida water. <laughs> hey, man. Well, cool. I don't want to be like, don't want to belabor anything. I think uh, you know someone. People have some questions on YouTube, and so if y'all want to jump in, we'll talk to you. If not, then uh, we'll do the, on another study. Yeah, they were asking some questions about the day of the Lord. We want to know what what those questions are, so we can answer with scriptures. So come on in. So we'll give you maybe about another two minutes. Maybe we'll preach the gospel, and then after that, we'll be gone. Step up. Speak now forever hold your peace. <laughs> now forever hold Yeah, there are, there are a lot of people. Some people in here. Is the link posted in the on in the YouTube chat? Of course, Colton. Okay. Yeah, I posted like three or four times. Uh, you, know yeah. people, you know how people well, you know I don't give people excuses, man. I give them posts, I post my number, and they <laughs> they, they, they just don't come in because they they not ready, man. They read <laughs> the text. Oh, you know, you deal with me. I don't, I don't play around. There's no excuses. So, is it? 
Yeah, there's people afraid. That's fine. But we'll give them that gospel one more time. Jesus wept. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Jesus is the almighty God, the everlasting father. Jesus died on the cross. He was buried. He rose from the grave and he was seen by over 500 witnesses. Jesus came unto his own and his own received him not. He didn't receive him by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. All right. Welcome. Welcome, sir. Jesus is the almighty. I think that's what it says. We see you. It's me, guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I had to get out. I had to get out of the water. <laughs> get some water. <laughs> Play that throat. Yeah. So I didn't know if you were the the guy on YouTube that was asking questions and not clicking the link. So. All right. Well, cool. Well, we'll we'll do it again, Lord willing. Don't want to just uh, sit here. Rather be profitable in my day, make some things happen. God bless you guys to the next one. Amen. God bless, guys. Godspeed. You guys.